Isaac Newton, the father of classical mechanics, laid the groundwork for orbital mechanics. He combined the work of Kepler and others to formulate the law of universal gravitation and the three Newtonian laws of motion. While Kepler's laws provided a conceptual model of orbital motion, Newton's laws provided the foundation for the mathematical description of orbits. They explain why a satellite stays in orbit. Newton's Law of Universal Gravitation. Any two objects in the universe, such as the Earth and the Moon, attract each other with a force directly proportional to the product of their masses, and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Stated more simply, the more massive the objects are, or the closer they are, the greater the gravitational pull between them. Newton's first law of motion. A body in motion will keep moving at the same speed and in the same direction unless acted upon by an external force. A satellite moves in a curved path around the Earth because the Earth's gravitational pull acts as an external force on it. Newton's second law of motion. If the sum of the forces acting on an object is not zero, the object will have an acceleration proportional to the magnitude and in the direction of the net force. Newton's second law states that force equals mass times acceleration. It is this mathematical equation and the equation for universal gravitation that forms the basis for calculating orbits. Newton's third law of motion explains how a satellite gets into orbit. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. If you blow up a balloon and let it go, the balloon is pushed forward by the action of the air rushing out of it. A rocket's exhaust gases are like the air rushing out of the balloon.